Today in Apple news, USB-C, camera, and more about the 2019 iPhones. I'm Wes Skyler, let's get started. So, for the 2019 iPhones, we've been hearing leaks for a long time that we'll see USB-C. Even before then, even 2018. It's just, it's been so long that we've been hearing about this. And we're actually seeing evidence inside iOS 13 now that this could happen. So a tweet from Twitter user Raphael Mouton shows this restore screen on an iPhone. So that's like a screen where you uh, reset and reset up your iPhone again. And it shows Apple's glyph for the USB-C cable right here, not lightning, USB-C on an iPhone. So that really hints that we could be seeing that on the iPhone. But it is possible this is supposed to show on the iPad and they messed that up. But it is still a likelihood that we'll be seeing USB-C on the new iPhones, and I am really excited to see that, because it would be awesome to have this one universal cable on the iPhone that applies to, to everything, even other devices across the entire Apple ecosystem, other phones. So many things would work together well. Now, we've also heard that 3D Touch will be taken away from the new iPhones. And this is a bit sad of a thing, but iOS 13 shows us evidence of this. Because iOS 13 expands the functionality of 3D Touch and Force Touch and all of that to devices that don't have 3D Touch already, and takes it kind of away from devices that already do. It makes 3D Touch functionality into just a long press instead, kind of like it is in the control center on other devices. So you hold down, and you get these previews right here that you get. And it's really kind of sad to me that they're taking this away. Because, I mean, it's been a good feature that will almost certainly be taken away from the 2019 iPhones. And I'm really going to miss it. And as well with iOS 13, it'll be taken away from all iPhones that run iOS 13. Turned to like a haptic touch, long press kind of thing. It's really pretty sad. Now, we're also seeing so much evidence that these square cameras will be what we see on the new iPhones. And this is just, I hate the look of it. Ben Geskin here made some models of it, and it just looks really bad. Like, just, I hate the look of that with like, the different colors and stuff. It looks so much better in the renders but we're not going to be using renders. We will be using real phones that will look like this, and it's so terrible. Like, oh. I'm so worried about it. Like, what's going to, oh. It's just, it, it's really scary. I don't like, like, think about this for you using that. Look at it, do you like that? I really don't think it'll be good. Now, volume indicator on iOS 13 has finally been fixed to be smaller like this. And I'm really happy about that. I love the look of that. Now, in iOS 13, maybe point 0.1 or point 0.2, we could see Siri get smaller like that as well. Go up in the corner or something. Most likely on iPad OS, maybe on iOS. And there's only a small chance of that because it has to do with like an email conversation between an Apple rep and someone at, I think, 9to5Mac. But it is a possibility that would be awesome to see in a later iOS 13 release. Now, Apple announced the Mac Pro and Pro Display XDR would be coming in the fall. But if you go to Apple's website and you click to be notified about it, it says up here, coming September. Now, that's weird because on their Mac Pro website, if you click on it, apple.com slash Mac dash Pro, it says coming this fall, which is what they announced at WWDC. So, likely we're looking at a human error here where there was like a goal for September, but they don't want to tell us that. They want us to be looking further so that if there's an, uh, has to be pushed back, we won't be too afraid. But it is possible that they're announcing now it's coming September, or they are shooting for a September release date. Anyway, this could mean that we will be seeing the Mac Pro and Pro Display earlier. Those are some information about the iPhone, iOS, and Mac Pro. I'm Oscar. Thanks for watching. Bye.